Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 20. Inside this video, we will see basics of database connection. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KeekPHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, WordPress, then you need to visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have several different different categories. If I scroll down, here we can find all about recently posted blog articles. You can see we have interesting blog topics. Here we have another section called create an article for the guest post publication. This feature will give you a 100% quality to follow backlinks. What you have to do? You need to submit your post like passing author details, blog post details for the admin approval. Once it will be approved, automatically get posted inside this online web tutor blogging community. Back to the topic, inside this video, we will see all about basics of database connection. So first of all, we have, we need to understand that how can we connect application in Laravel. So we have two options, either we can pass the details inside .env file and the second alternative way to pass details inside database.php file. How can we find these files? Back to folder structure. So to find .env file, this is our setup called blog, what we have installed. So inside this setup, we are not able to see .env file. So we need to press Ctrl H because it's a hidden file. So here we can see .env. Now inside this .env, already we understood inside folder structure inside this course that this is an environment file. Inside this environment file, we have different different types of environment variables which we can use throughout application. And in the second alternative way, what we are talking about, we need to go inside this config folder and here we have the file called database.php. Actually behind the scene, this file only works. Inside this file, we are just fetching the value from .env and this file working with the connection details. Now let's see in action. If I back to editor, open up .env file and inside this file, we can see we have several different environment variables. So here we have a section called DB connection, DB host, DB port, database, username and the password. The first key indicates all about our database connection driver name. So by default, it is picking MySQL. So what other options we have? Go to database, sorry config, click on database.php. So instead of using MySQL, we have other options as SQLite as we can see, MySQL what we are using, PostgreSQL and next we have SQL Server. So how can we load? Simply what you have to do, copy this key if we are using SQLite back to .env file and we need to paste here. Rest, we need to pass all the details of database. So this is how we are using other database driver. So let's say in our case we are following MySQL. So here we have the connection database driver. Next we are using localhost. So this is localhost IP. So DB host. It's a port. Next we need to pass the database name, MySQL username and the password. So we need to create a database. So back to browser. Go inside this phpMyAdmin and inside this as we can see we have a database called laravel8 underscore course already I have created. So what I will do, simply copy the name of db, go here and this is the default value. So I am removing it and pasting our database name. This is username and in my case for my system the password for the mysql is root. In your case, it will be different. So successfully we have passed all the details. Let's see that how .env file works with the database.php file. So go inside this config folder, 
open up the file called database.php and inside this file we can see that we have a key called default. Inside this default we are using a helper function called env and inside this env function we are passing a key called db underscore connection. So what this function will do? Simply it will find this key first of all inside this .env file. If this key exists then it will return this value otherwise this default value will be used. So db connection it go and pick this value from this .env file so we are using the default value as mysql. Rest for the database connections we need to scroll and here we have the connections array inside this we have several database drivers called sqlite, mysql, postgresql and sql server. So from these connections what we have to use it will be decided by using this default. So this is MySQL. So by the help of this key, we have picked this value. Go inside these connections and we are using this MySQL array. Inside this MySQL array, we have several keys like driver, URL, host, port, database, username, password and so on. So inside each of these keys, keep in mind we are using env helper function. Inside this env, first of all for the host, it will find this key dbhost from this file. If this key exists, then it will return that respective value. Otherwise, the default value will be used. So what I will do, simply either we can set this value here or inside this default value, we can pass it here. So inside this database name, pick this key env helper go inside this dot env file and take it this value and put it here so inside this case this default value will not be used because this key has a value so this repeats same for the username and the password and our database should connect it after connection in the next video we will see that how can we execute our queries inside this Laravel 8? We will cover each aspect of queries like running queries using DB class means using DB, using our model space concept. Also we will cover the different different types of relationships. Now if we go inside this controller because successfully we are now connected with the database after passing all the default values means like database details go inside this controllers means our inside this app folder http controllers site controller let's say site.php so inside next video we will use a db class called use db after using this it's a facade so after using this we will use some methods of that like insert for the inserting data Next we have called for the select, for the update and for the delete. So these are the things means a cut operation to create, read, update and delete. So we will cover in the next videos. After database connection, now we are access means we will access all the tables what we will create inside this database, inside this application. Also we will see inside this course that if in case if we want to load multiple database connections at once, so how can we use also those conditions. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.